Being able to retire and quit your Monday to Friday, nine to five job is the all American dream. And people do this for a variety of reasons. Maybe they want to travel more or spend more time with friends and family, or maybe they just hate their job, hate their boss, and they want to tell them to stick it. Whatever your reason is, being able to quit your job is the end goal. Unfortunately for most people, that's never going to happen. Most people are going to work well into their 60s, and even when they do quit, they're still not going to have enough money to actually enjoy the golden years. But what if I told you that with a little bit of effort and a little bit of hustle, most people could replace their entire W-2 salary in less than a year? Now, if that sounds too good to be true, make sure you watch all the way to the end because I'm going to walk you through from start to finish how to set up this business and how this is so incredibly profitable. Hi everyone, my name is Ben and this channel is dedicated to all things personal finance related, helping you earn more, spend less, and invest the difference. Now, if you enjoy educational content like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below. I love hearing your guys' success stories. But without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So, of all the research that I do on money and finance and investing and starting up your own small business, one of the best ways that I've found to immediately start earning some relatively significant amounts of income that's relatively passive is by owning your own ATM machine. And some of you guys are saying, wait, what? I didn't think that you could own an ATM machine. I thought that was something that banks did. And yes, banks do own ATM machines, but so do a lot of smaller independent contractors just like myself. In fact, owning your own ATM machine is highly lucrative. We're going to get into the numbers in more detail a little bit later on in the video, but your average ATM makes about $540 a month in profit. And that's just for one machine. It's highly likely that you're going to be able to scale up your business to at least 10 machines within your first year. So that means you're going to be making about $5,400 a month in relatively passive income, which translates to roughly $65,000 a year. That's enough to quit your job and live off of. All right, so enough of that. Let's get actually into the nuts and bolts of how to set everything up. So the first thing that I would recommend doing, and this is optional, but highly recommended, is to go and start an LLC. Go to a lawyer, have them set up the paperwork and regulatory filings and whatnot. It might cost, you know, a couple hundred bucks or whatever, depending on what state you live in, to set up a business entity for you. And you're also going to want to set up a business checking account. And setting up a business checking account, that's usually free. Um, and you're also going to want to have the lawyer draft up a few contracts that you're going to use with your business partners uh, where you're going to be placing these ATM machines inside of their establishment. Like I said, this is not mandatory, but it is highly recommended. That way you separate your personal finances from your business finances, uh, just in case in a worst case scenario, if there's some sort of a lawsuit or something like that, you're protected. So once you have your company set up, you're going to want to go out and start looking for clients. You can actually look for clients before you go out and purchase your first ATM machine. So we've all seen ATM machines around town. We know where they're typically placed, right? Anywhere there's a lot of foot traffic, anywhere that's cash businesses is going to be a prime location for some of these ATM machines. So places like bars and restaurants, uh, clubs, gentlemen's clubs, which is strip clubs for those of you guys that don't know. Barbershops and hair salons, a lot of times those are uh, a lot of cash only businesses. Sometimes they don't accept card at all. And so in a case like that, having an ATM machine on site is going to be very beneficial to the store because there's going to be times that, I mean, let's face it, it's 2020. Not everyone carries around a large amount of cash in their wallet. And so if they walk into one of these cash only establishments, then either they need to go somewhere else or they need to use your ATM machine. So if there's not an ATM machine, then that business is simply losing clients. So you're going to want to go and try to identify some places, some prime locations and speak to the store owner and see if they're willing to let you install an ATM machine there. 
Now, when you're going and doing your presentation, trying to get a machine installed in their location, make sure you keep everything focused on how this is gonna benefit them and their store. So you might say something like, sir, I was looking at your establishment and I was wondering if you would benefit from having a free ATM installed at this location. It would be 100% free to install, maintain, all of that stuff is gonna be handled by us. And this is gonna help your customers by providing them additional customer services so that they can easily access and spend their money right here in your store as opposed to needing to go somewhere else simply to get some money. And customers that use an ATM machine typically spend more money inside that store than they normally would. And this is usually by about 20 to 25%. So the store itself is gonna earn higher revenues as well. Not only that, but you're gonna get a portion of the income that's generated by having this machine installed inside your store. And at this point, the store owner is more than likely gonna say, so wait, I get a free ATM installed in my store that I don't have to worry about, I don't have to do any maintenance, I don't have to install it, it's completely hands off for me, it's gonna help my customers by providing them additional customer service, and I'm also gonna make some more money in the meantime, uh, yeah, sign me up. So at this point, you're gonna have them sign one of these pre-made contracts that hopefully your lawyer has already drafted up. And you're gonna to wanna to keep them on a month-to-month -month basis. And that's for a couple of reasons. One, because as a business owner, you don't wanna get locked into long-term contracts because we all know long-term contracts suck, right? I know a lot of you guys maybe have long-term cell phone contracts and maybe halfway through a better product comes out, but you're still locked into this old contract. And the same thing applies for you, right? So if this location just doesn't seem to be working out, if it's not making you any money, then you don't wanna be forced to leave your ATM machine there for a couple of years if you signed a long-term contract. So if you can, make sure to keep everything month to month, but you're definitely gonna to wanna to have them sign a, a contract with you. Now, once you actually have a signed, sealed, delivered contract saying yes, please put an ATM inside my location, that's when you're actually gonna to want to go and purchase an ATM online. Now, there's a lot of different places to go and buy an ATM. I like atmdepot.com. Now, Cardtronics and a few others, they're very popular, and sometimes they will give you, uh, some of these other suppliers will give you cheaper ATMs, like the upfront cost of purchasing one of these ATMs is cheaper. Uh, buy a couple hundred bucks on some of these other websites, but they charge significantly higher fees. And so those fees in the long run are going to make it uh, definitely worth your while to spend just a tiny bit more money up front and go with somebody like ATM Depot where you're keeping 100% of these surcharges. So how much does an ATM actually cost at ATM Depot? Well, the Halo 2 is one of their newer models. It's got all of the bells and whistles and security features. So a brand new model is about $2,245 with delivery. Now there is a few additional add-ons that you can also get on top of that. For your first one, I highly recommend paying the two, 300 bucks to have it professionally installed and to have them train you on how to use and operate this machine. So you're looking at your first machine for give or take about $2,500. And $2,500 to start a business is very, very cheap. Some of you guys might already have that amount of money or significantly more. Or if you don't, $2,500 isn't that bad if you're trying to save up for it. Even if you have to do something like drive Uber or Lyft on the weekends to make a couple of extra bucks, 2,500 bucks is gonna come in no time. And then on top of the amount of money that you're gonna to need to purchase this ATM, you're actually going to obviously need to have money inside the ATM so that customers can withdraw that money. And the amount of money that you are actually gonna put in there, it can vary. So especially when you're first starting out, you don't need a ton of money inside the ATM machine. It just means that you're gonna be making a little bit more frequent trips to refill and restock this ATM. As your business grows and as things start to scale up for you, maybe you start putting in a little bit more money into the ATM 
That way you don't have to make near as many trips in order to refill and restock these ATMs. But to break it down into numbers, some of these ATMs that are in you know, somewhat desirable locations, gas stations, restaurants, bars, clubs, that kind of stuff, barber shops, they typically get used on average somewhere between six and 10 times per day. And the average withdrawal that each of these people is going to make is about $60 each. So if the average usage is somewhere between six and 10, for the rest of this video, we're just gonna call it eight. We're gonna assume that eight people per day are gonna be using this machine. Now, if you get it in one of the super premium locations, you might actually be getting 30 or more times per day that people are using it. But for our calculations, we'll just assume sort of a nice average eight times per day. And the average customer is going to withdraw about $60 per use of the ATM machine. So if you have eight customers at $60 a piece, you're looking at about $480 per day that's gonna be withdrawn from your account. Now that's gonna be averages though, so you wanna make sure that you have more than just $480 in your, in your ATM machine. So by federal law, a customer has to be able to withdraw at least $200 from an ATM. But you can set limits. So maybe 200 is the most that you will allow somebody to withdraw at any one particular time. So let's just say on the high end, and we'll assume that you know $100 is what these customers are gonna be doing. 60 is the average, so we're gonna you know, play it on the safe side and say 100. So if you have $800 a day being withdrawn from your ATM machine, then realistically you only need $1,000 or $800 or whatever inside that machine if you are gonna go and restock it every day. So if this ATM is somewhere relatively close and you're gonna restock this every day, maybe on your way to work or on the way home from work or something like that. So 800 bucks to actually put in the machine, maybe 300 bucks for the professional installation for your first machine, that installation and training, and then about 22.45 for the actual unit itself. So grand total, you're looking at a little over $3,000, maybe about $3,300, give or take, to get your first machine up and running. And at that point, you're just going to set the amount of money for the surcharge. That's gonna be the amount of money that you make each and every time that somebody uses this machine. Now, the national average surcharge for an ATM machine is about $3, but this is also gonna be highly location dependent. So while $3 might be the average, some locations are able to charge significantly more than just $3 per use. So if you've ever been to a strip club and tried to use their ATM machine, you know just how much you get robbed. It's not uncommon at all for a gentleman's club to charge seven or $8 per use of an ATM machine. But we'll just use sort of the national average for everything. We'll just assume $3 per transaction. That means that every single time somebody uses your ATM machine, you make $3. Now we already said that about eight people were gonna use your machine on average per day. So if you're making $3 per transaction at roughly eight customers per day, that means you're making about $24 per day per machine in profit. So if you have 30 days in a month, that means you're making about $720 in profit each and every month before your expenses. Now you are gonna have a little bit of expenses, so internet is usually about 10 bucks a month for some of these things. You are gonna have to have your ATM machine connected up to some sort of an internet service. That's how the actual banking transaction works. So that's gonna cost you about 10 bucks a month. And then I usually prefer to give my store owners roughly about 25% of the cut. So if I make $3 from the transaction, then I'm going to give the store owner about 75 cents and I'll keep $2.25 for myself as profit. That way it's a win-win for everyone. I make some money and the store owner is incentivized to be able to actually let me place my ATM inside their store. So where we started off with about $720 in profit every month from eight customers, $3 per transaction times 30 days in a month. Now, once we split that profits, 
that 25% of the revenue with the store owner, that means that each and every month I get about $540 in profit and the store owner gets about $180 in profit. So that means on average I'm making give or take about $540 per machine. Now if I reinvest that $540 and try to purchase a second machine, then in roughly four months I'll have enough money to get a second machine. And at that point I'm making close to $1,100 a month. And at $1,100 a month, it's only going to take me two months to get my third machine. So it kind of snowballs where you're able to buy more and more machines very, very rapidly once you get your first couple and start reinvesting those profits. So as long as you're reinvesting your money, it's highly likely that you're going to be able to scale up to about 10 machines within your first year to year and a half, somewhere in there. Now, if you have 10 machines and are making $540 in profit on average per month per machine, that means you're making about $5,400 a month at this point, or about $65,000 a year, just by owning and operating these machines. So what is actually operating these machines entail? Well, thankfully not a whole lot. These machines, since you're buying them new, they have a two-year warranty. So if anything does break or malfunction, ATM Depot will come out and fix it for you. And other than that, the only thing that you really have to do is make sure that these machines are consistently stocked full of money. Now, like I said, when you're first starting out, maybe you only put maybe $1,000 in each machine, and that means you might have to go out and refill it every day or two or something like that. But as you begin to scale and grow your business, maybe you're willing to put a little bit more money in there at a time. That way you don't have to go and refill these machines nearly as much. Now, the Halo 2 that we talked about, it can hold a thousand banknotes. So if these are all $20 bills, then that means this machine is capable of holding $20,000 in bills. And so at that point, you're at best gonna go and refill this machine once a month. But maybe once a month is too much, maybe you don't wanna put 20 grand inside of there, but you can at least set it up where you're only gonna have to go and refill these machines once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, whatever it is that you're actually comfortable with. And in case you are wondering, the accounting process for this is super easy. So you're actually gonna get set up with a back-end office. So you're going to get all of the data provided straight to you on your smartphone. So you can easily at a glance get notified as far as when a particular ATM is running low on money. That way you can go out and refill it. Now some of you guys might be saying, yeah, but if I am just starting out and I got to put in, you know, 500 or a thousand dollars into this ATM every day in order to keep it going, like well, I don't have 500 to a thousand dollars every day that I can actually put into this machine. Where am I going to get that money? Well, you're not actually spending any additional money. You just need that first set of funds to get in there. And after that, you're just kind of recycling the same money over and over and over again. So the way it works is, let's say that you put in $1,000 into the machine and then customers take $1,000 out. So now you need to go and replace that. Well, the very next day after the customers take out that $1,000, ATM Depot is going to deposit that $1,000 back into your checking account. So then you would just go to your bank, withdraw that $1,000, and put it back in the ATM machine. So there's this constant flow of money. You get paid the very next day after your customers withdraw any money. Now as far as that $3 of profit, that gets paid out once a month at the end of the month. That way it's nice, neat, clean for accounting purposes. Now, when you do actually go to these businesses to refill your ATM machine, you want to make sure that you're doing this during sort of the off-peak hours when the fewest number of customers possible are there. And that's just a kind of a security risk because you are walking into this store with potentially thousands of dollars in cash in your pocket trying to reload this ATM machine. So you don't want to get robbed or mugged or anything like that. So you want to make sure that as few as possible people are in this establishment. If you can get in before they actually open, like if it's a restaurant, sometimes there's just people in the back, 
you know, getting things prepped before any customers are there, then that would be ideal if you can get in at that time. And as far as actually replacing the money inside the machine, this is a incredibly fast process. It takes less than a minute start to finish in order to refill an ATM. So you are literally in and out of the establishment quick. So once you scale up your business to, let's just say 10 different ATM machines, and if you are putting enough money in where you only need to restock your machines once a week, it might take you two hours to drive to the different locations and refill these machines once a week. So if you extrapolate that, that turns out to about $65,000 a year. And to get that, you only need to work about eight hours per month. Now, once you scale up even further, where maybe you're only replacing the money inside here once a month, then your time invested goes down even more. And if you're looking for truly passive income, once you scale up to a decent number of machines, it's very easy to just simply hire somebody that you know and trust to do this for you. I mean, if it only takes two hours once a month to go around and refill all 10 of these machines, what if you paid somebody two or $300 to do this for you? Would you be willing to pay two, $3,000 a year to have now a completely hands-off passive business structure set up? I know I sure would. And a lot of other people are going to jump at the chance to make two or 300 bucks for only working two hours. Like that's a hundred dollars an hour or more that they're making. So it's going to be very easy to find somebody that's willing to take these routes for you. The biggest thing is obviously you have to trust them because while they're walking around, they're going to have thousands of dollars with them. So you got to be trustworthy. Now, some of you guys might be worried about the accounting. How does all of that work? Well, ATM Depot, like I said, they're already going to set you up with a back office set up. So they're going to handle all of the accounting. They're going to handle all of the transactions and the payments and all that stuff. In fact, they can also set up that split payment option for you. So like I said, you're going to be paying the business owner maybe 25% and you're going to be keeping 75% of that surcharge fee. They can handle that automatically. So you don't ever actually have to write, you know, that gas station or that restaurant a check or anything like that. It's just going to be automatically deposited into their checking account, just like your money is going to be deposited into your checking account. So it's very, very hands off when it comes to the accounting setup. So at this point, really all you're doing is worrying about scaling your business and trying to find new locations for where you want to put your ATM machines. Now, one thing that's handy is if you just simply go into some place like Google and type in new businesses near me or something similar to that into Google, it'll actually pull up a list of new businesses that have recently opened or that are coming soon. So especially these coming soon places is a prime candidate because you know that they don't have an ATM machine, like they're not even in business yet. So these are some prime people to reach out to and try to see if you can get something installed at their location. And even if a store does already have an ATM machine in it, that doesn't mean that you can't undercut the current contractor that is operating out of there. I usually offer about 25% to start with new businesses, but if they already have an established ATM in their location, what if you were to offer them 30, 40, or 50% of the income? Because let's be real, if you can offer the business manager more money than what he is currently getting, then he's probably willing to start using you as a ATM distributor. Now, obviously you want to limit the amount of percentage that you're giving these business owners as much as possible because that is eating into your revenue. But if this store owner has a super prime location, maybe a gentleman's club or something like that, it's not uncommon to pay 60% or more to the club in fees and you only keep 30 or 40% of the profits for yourself. So that's going to do it for us today, folks, how to start your own ATM business and quickly replace your W-2 salary. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and as always, I'll see you all again next time. Thanks.